Hey guys, my name is Ali and I am a data analytics manager working in Oslo, Norway. This is the second video in my series on building a data analyst portfolio from scratch. In this video, we're going to focus on a business request for a new report and how we are going to extract information from that business request, which we will then structure into a business demand overview and some user stories. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to look at a business request, which we will use for this series. And then I will touch on what is a business demand overview and what are user stories. And then we are going to fill out a business demand overview form and we're we are going to create some user stories and at the end I will summarize and talk about some of the next steps in this series. So we have gotten a business request from Steven, he's a sales manager and I'm going to go through this now I'm going to mark up some things that we will use in our business demand overview and in our user stories. So I'll just read it loud and then as we go I can mark off some things. So hi Ali, I hope you are doing well. We need to improve our internet sales reports. So that's what it's going to be about. We want, we want to move from static reports to visual dashboards. So they want to have more visual graphics. Okay, let's write that down. Essentially, we want to focus on how much we sold of what products. So we got products to which clients and how it has been over time. So we got products, we got customers and we got over time. So let's just mark that off. Seeing as each salesperson works on different products and customers, it would be beneficial to be able to filter them also. So it's for the sales force. And like I said, we've already marked our product and customers, but they also want to be able to filter um, so that they can focus on their products or their customers. So that's good to know. Um, we measure our numbers against uh, budgets so I have added that in a spreadsheet so we actually have a new data source we're also going to add in a budget from a spreadsheet which we will come back to later in the series so that we can compare our values against performance fair enough the budget is for 2021 and we usually look two years back in time when we do analysis of sales so the timeline for some of the data has to be two years but we only have budget for one year that's fair enough Okay, so then we, we have some information. Now we're gonna try and structure that information in a way which is, it is much easier to use it. And that is where business a business demand overview comes in and user stories. So now that we have gone through the business request and we have marked off some important information, let's look at the business demand and the user stories. So if you go to the other form, you can see a, a business demand overview is literally what it sounds like. It's just an overview of who makes the business demand and some specific information there. So we want to know who made the demand. We want to know what is the value of change that this will bring, what are the necessary systems, and if there were any other relevant information that came up through the business request. And then we use user stories, that is something we use in agile development, to try and specify from the user point of view what our delivery has to give the user or enable the user to do to ensure that we are delivering what we define under the value of change in the business demand overview. So let's go through this and let's try and fill this out as we go now. So the reporter is Steven, who is a sales, sales manager. Value of change is visual dashboards and improves, it would be um, sales uh, reporting or follow up for sales uh, necessary systems we're going to use power bi uh, we are going to use a uh, crm system other relevant info uh, budgets budget have been delivered in excel for 2021 and then we have some user stories let's write out a couple so as a sales manager i want uh, to follow to Get a dashboard overview view, view of, I can't type of internet sales so that I can get can follow better which customers and products sells the best and <clears throat> a power bi dashboard which updates data uh, once a day let's just do that so and as a um, as a sales uh, let's call it representative. So represent. I want an overview. Let's do a detailed overview. Overview of customer of internet sales per customers, so that I can follow up my customers that sells that buys the most and who we can sell more to. And an uh, acceptance criteria can be a Power BI dashboard, which allows me to filter data for each customer. Um, and we can have the exact same thing, except that we have 
a detailed overview of intent sales per products and follow up on my products that sells the most most love and a power bi dashboard which allows me to filter data for each product um, what else do we want to add something else as a sales manager i want a dashboard uh, overview internet internet sales uh, follow sales over time against budget acceptance criteria can be uh, Power BI dashboard um, with graphs and KPIs comparing against budget. So you guys kind of get the idea and what we will do is we will use this when we are looking at tables that we need to clean and transform and we will also use this when we are creating the actual um, the actual dashboard. That is how you can take a business user request and organize it into a business demand overview and create some user stories, which we will then use when we are going to find the right tables to cleanse and transform. And also when we are going to create a dashboard and then the user can come back, they can look at the acceptance criteria that they have written down and ensure that our dashboards and reports can fulfill those acceptance criteria. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you want to follow this series or see more videos on data analytics, then subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next week.